let's take a look at the highlights of race two. It was a clean start away from Polster to Tepinatori as the four Carlin cars at the front of the field locked out the front of the grid. It was early battle between Yuki Snowda and Lucas Dunner down towards turn one. There's plenty of scrap skirmish into the first corner. Side-by-side -side action between Hahn and Munger. Almost saw them come into contact, but Hahn backed out at the last minute and stayed in fourth as Cameron Das ran wide on the exit and lost a few positions in the process. Also skirmishes with Dunner and Yuki Snowda into turn three. That continued from the pit straight. And then later on in the race, we saw Cameron Das and Caleb Williams going side-by-side -side further in the field as they battled over positions at the bottom of the field down in the lower positions. An attempted pass Rui Andrade didn't come off as he attempted to also get past Caleb Williams but went wide on the exit and the Australian got through and it was all about the Carlin cars at the front of the field. William Munger was able to hold off the tap for Christian Hahn but he couldn't get close to Nikolai Kiergaard who ran out in second place in something of a clear gap at the front of the field but nobody at the front of the pet field could catch this man. Tepin Atori who went on from pole position to claim a lights to flag run and as he headed into the final couple of the corners, he went to take his first ever victory in Euro 4 to open. Not only that, it was an all Carlin lockout on the podium with Carlin cars finishing in the first four positions. It was a euphoric victory for another Japanese talent. Tepin Atori once again marking his name in the big time. Victory for the young Japanese star. Second for Kiergaard, third for Munger and fourth for Hahn. A good day's work all round for Carlin Motorsport.